Hey there, Jules here. In this vid, let's troubleshoot the case on filtering the post by titles. So first of all, yes, you can filter the post by titles. A little spoiler, that takes some time, especially when you have lots of posts. But still, you'll get the desired result. Our support team receives such issues almost every day with the following setups. Guys, I'll show you right now the common mistakes, so have a look and check if you have the same issues. And then we fix that together. Here is the page with the filters and the listing grid widget. One filter is not displayed at all. Here where it should be displayed. Checking on the second one that is displayed already. But once you proceed with the filtration, the no data was found message appears. Why that happening? Passing on the troubleshoot directly right now. Let's check the filter settings from the dashboard. Here is the first wrong filter example. Data source is posts, correct post type rooms, and the query variable you might think seems okay, while it is from the correct meta field from the right custom post type. If you have a look at the second wrong filter example, data source is the custom field. The custom field key is the meta field ID from the needed CPD. I showed you two filters with the common mistakes in the settings. Finally, let's resolve this issue. The first thing you should do is create the new meta field in the desired CPD. Fill in the label, then select either the checkbox or radio field type. That depends on your needs, whether you want to filter using several options selected with the checkbox or only one option with the radio type. I choose checkbox. Then toggle on the Allow Custom and Save Custom Options. Add the new option, in my case that the Junior Suite let it be checked by default. Save the changes and proceed to the posts from the post type you work with. Open the post, navigate to the newly created meta field and here it is, it is already checked. Let's proceed to the next post. Click the Add Custom Value button and fill in the current post title. While that's no longer Junior Suite, uncheck it. Save the changes and proceed to another post. Once you're done, proceed further and add the filter. Fill in the labels, then pick the type you need. Please keep in mind that if you selected, just like me before, the checkbox meta field type in the custom post type, here, in the filter, you should choose the corresponding checkbox filter type. If you have the radio meta field type in your custom post type. Here, in the filter, you should choose the radio field type. Next is the data source, custom fields. Custom field key is the checkbox meta field ID that I added before. Toggle on the get choice from field data and select jet engine here. One more time, if you have the checkbox meta field type in the CPD, this option should be activated as well. If you decided to work with the radio field type, this option should stay inactive. Next is the meta field ID, same as the custom field key we have here. So I just copy pasted it. Save the changes. Let's add the filter to our page. Follow to the Elementor page builder, add the widget. Pick the correct filter, select the needed provider and apply type. Some customization if you want. Save the changes and go to the front end. Filter the grid and here is our silver plus or pearl suite and the presidential suite if you'd like. All works as it should. That's it. May the Crocoblock power be with you.